Welcome to Greece. Your presentation focused on standardized nutrition terminology. Should we consider it as a global nutrition language? I would say yes. It is, it is going to be very helpful at some point in time if we can work with the World Health Organization to have one language that is recognized throughout the world. So it really is a language that any dietitian can be using to address nutrition problems. People all around the world get confused because of the conflicting messaging they receive from various sources. What is the approach of the American Dietetic Association concerning the role of registered dietitians in a country such as the United States? We've been working to communicate with the public. I, I like to call it the three D's of good health. Everybody needs a doctor, a dentist, and a dietitian because at different times in life we need them for different reasons. And so, indeed, we need those simple messages that, you know, this is the, the person you should go to for nutrition information and good health. As the president of the American Dietetic Association, the world's largest organization of food and nutrition professionals, what are the main messages you would like to share with Greek people regarding them seeking nutrition services amidst times of financial crisis? It's a very important time to, to look at our budgets and decide how we can spend our food dollars wisely. There may be some inexpensive ways that people can have healthy, nutritious meals at home. Uh, perhaps you know using more beans and things rather than meats and things that are expensive but certainly the registered dietitian or the dietitian in general is the person to go to to get that information and get those tips on how to how to spend money wisely at times when it's difficult to to spread it around